Hello everybody and welcome to TechLearn. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle Client and configure the Oracle Client to connect it to a remote database. So, for installation of the Oracle Client, you need an Oracle Client. You need to download the Oracle Client. This is the link from where you can download it. Uh, I'll place this link in the description of the video. I just scroll down and here you'll see that Oracle client is there I'm installing it on Windows so you can uh, download according at accordingly if you have a 64 bit you can download this one if you have a 32 bit you can download this one so I've already downloaded the client so let's go there so this is the zip file which you get after the download just right click on this and click on extract here it will create a folder known as client so once all the files are extracted just open the folder and click on setup.exe click on yes So you're having different types of installation. First is the instant client, which is the basic version of the Oracle client, the administrator where you can, uh, you, you'll have all the management related tools and management consoles. The runtime is you have development applications included and the custom is you can select what all components you need individually. So I'll, I'll do the administrator installation. I'll select the administrator and click on next. I'll skip for software updates and click on next. So select the language is English. Click next. Uh, so here you can create and use an existing user of the Windows or you can create a new Windows user for the operation of your Oracle client. I'll use the existing built-in account for this and click on next. Here this will be my Oracle base. The location you can also give if you want you can give your location. Instead of app I can give Oracle and this will be a software location. So this is your Oracle base and this is your Oracle home. So if you want you can browse and change it. If you want you can edit it here also. I'll leave this and click on next. So our installation is started. So it will verify all the prerequisites before starting the installation. And once it is done, you can click on install to install the Oracle client. So this will take a little bit of time. So let's wait till the complete process finishes. Allow the access here. So we have successfully finished the installation of Oracle client. I'll just close it. Now I'll show you how to connect it to a remote database. So uh, the prerequisite for this is you need to have an Oracle database up and running on your remote machine or on your local machine itself. I am having it on a virtual machine here. So two things you need to make sure you have an Oracle database mounted up and running. You, you have a listener configured for your Oracle database. So first I'll check if there is a listener configured for this. So the command to check the status of the listener is ls and rctl space status. So I am already having a listener configured here if you can see. 
it supports one service so we can go if you don't have a listener config and if you're having a database you can start the listener by using the lsnrctl start start command so this will start up your listener and it will create a default listener for you and one another thing i'm also having the oracle connected here and make sure that you have the port number 1521 open on your firewall or else you can just type in service ip tables stop so it's already stopped on my so i have already stopped the firewall here so and one another thing get the ip address of your system so i have the ip address here so what I'll do is I'll go to my Windows machine where I have installed the Oracle client and I'll fire up the command prompt and I type in netca. This is the command for the net configuration assistance. So here you need to configure the naming services. So let's wait till it starts. So Oracle net configuration assistance is started. So just select the local net service name configuration checkbox and click on next. Select add and click on next. Give it a service name. I'll give my DB and click on next. Select it as TCP. Write the IP address. That's 192.168.145.40. So this is the IP address of your database. And this is the port number, the standard port number where the Oracle client communicates with the your database. If you are if you have configured a, the port, a different port number, you can specify it here. So I'll leave this as it is and click next. I'll perform a test. So it's telling the invalid username and password. So it's, if it's saying like this, just click on the change login and type in the password which you have given for your database so uh, our test has been successful i'll click next click next and i'll not configure and i'll click on finish so if i want to connect it to my remote database the command would be sql plus sys the password at the rate the service name so i've given my db as the service name so sql plus this is the user oracle at mysql and the role as is db so here i'm connected to my remote database from and windows machine using oracle client uh, so this finishes the installation and configuration i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing if you have any queries relating to the video please feel free to comment on the video if you are if you really like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on android linux windows and much more stuff related to technology once again thanks for watching